Geralt, right? I'm glad you're here. Held off on the autopsy till you arrived. Nice of you. Especially given you didn't seem pleased about my previous visit. Because you came unannounced and in unfortunate company. I also had Reverend Nathaniel to contend with. Our spiritual caretaker has left the city on some important matter. Hey folks, it is the 101st Let's Play of Witcher 3. Hey, there's Whistling Wendy. I kind of feel bad for her. So we're off to talk to Corner. We are once again at the Jello Alert level zero. Nothing happening. He's at. He's on his way to Atlanta. The cats are racing around. We're at like a two or three. I'm gonna have to. I have a little video to post them. So let's go back to the corners. Um, I'm gonna race back there. I think. I don't know if I'm gonna do anything else with this. I think corner's the big one right now. All right. So let's get back there. I'll see you in a moment. All right. We are at the corners. Excellent. So let's go in. Let's find his Nathaniel. Nathaniel was the guy that. We basically ran away from it. Was I can't remember Jockim, Jockim. He's the one that called me. So what does Nathaniel want? Well, hey, sir. Geralt, right? I'm glad you're here. Held off on the autopsy till you arrived. Nice of you, especially given you didn't seem pleased about my previous visit. Because you came unannounced and in unfortunate company. I also had Reverend Nathaniel to contend with. Our spiritual caretaker has left the city on some important matter. And I know who you are, what drives you. I'm more than happy to aid your investigation. Oh, wow. That's kind of cool. Not fond of Nathaniel? Very few people are. He's cruel and capricious. He stormed in here once, grabbed a scalpel I was sterilizing over a burner, sliced my back with it to the bone, because I had forgotten to lock the storeroom. Hard to be fond of someone like that, wouldn't you agree? Who's the victim this time? Joris Aquinas, a lecturer in theology at Oxenfurt Academy. Found this morning at his home on a catafalque made of his books. Any titles in particular? It seems all the tomes dealt with the eternal fire. Treaties critical of the faith's doctrines. Yeah, mortal sin in Novigrad. By the way, you and Von Gratz don't exactly get along. Why is that? I had him sent to prison. You see, Joachim led the student protests in 1242. A senseless and brutal revolt. People were dying, Witcher. Those who rejected liberty, equality, and fraternity would be found in the gutter come morning. Their throats slit from ear to ear with surgical precision. Joachim had been my favorite student, but... Alas, I had to do something. So I reported him. Then I left the university and found work in the morgue, where none care about my past. Whereas Joachim, oh, fate's ironies. Years later, he was appointed head of the very ward I had founded. How old's von Gratz? Fifty? Sixty? Fifty-three, I believe. Why do you ask? You look a little young to have been his teacher. Not surprising. For years, I've lived in the cold and dark, breathing the vapors of embalming fluids. In short, working with corpses extends one's life. Amusing, is it not? Let's start. Gladly. The wounds conform to the killer's modus operandi. The victim was bound and forced to drink formaldehyde. Next, the killer removed the eyes, placed burning coals in the sockets, then opened the rib cage and... What's this? A parchment? Made of human skin? A message from the murderer. The name of his next victim. Patricia Vagelbud. Do you know her? Yes. Even went to her estate once with... Gotta find her. Now. Alright, we're off to find Vagelbud. Vagal Bud! Vagal Bud! All right, I will see you guys out at the Vagal Bud Estate residence. All right, folks, we are at the Vagal Bud Estate. Vagal Bud! And I just scared the cat. I scared Shadow. She ran out of the kitchen because evidently my voice is scary. Scary stuff. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, guard. Let me in. There you go. What are your wounds? Need to talk to Patricia Vagelbud. You think any bum off the street can... Her life's in danger. Let me in or have her blood on your hands. If you thought this up, 
and I'll let you in. We'll throw my ass out the door. Always thought a guard was supposed to protect his charge, not his ass. So be it. I'll take you to Lady Vega, bud. Just no trickery. Understand? Oh, we get to slide right through the door. We go spiritual on this one. She's out guarding the middle of the night. Oh, Who Geralt. Cares? What a pleasant surprise. Not pleasant at all. I gotta see your mother. Her life's in danger. In danger? Come now. I saw Mother this morning. She seemed sad, true, but in perfect health. I'm hunting a serial killer, and I've got reason to believe your mother will be his next victim. Why, even if it's true, our guards... He's exceptionally cruel when he kills, tortures his victims, cuts out their hearts. So let's see how she is, just in case. I find this all very hard to believe, but you appear to be quite serious. Please, follow me. Serious is my fire name. fit for Bellatane, except it's the wrong time of year. I mentioned Mother seems sad. Do you remember? In fact, she's in the midst of a crisis of faith. A rather serious one. We'd been to Novigrad. Mother had seen the pyres in Hierarch Square, uttered not a word on our way home. She had all the holy books, insignias, reliquaries gathered, taken outside and burnt. Then she locked herself in her room. We need to hurry. All right, Ingrid, show me Patricia's rooms. Wait, let's set up Axie. Good, that's what I wanted. I wanted Axie. So I can stop him if somebody's there. Calm and quiet. All seems to be in order. We should go in, just to be sure. You're relentless, aren't you? Fine. But wait here, please. Mother's certainly not in the mood for guests. Oh yeah, we're gonna kick somebody's butt. Woo! No. Come on, go, go. Murderer still here. All right, Dodd Sub. <laughs> A trail. Dude, no. Protect me. Between your eyes. Listen, you got the wrong guy. Save your trickery, taking you to the heiress. <sighs> well, killer's already escaped. Lead the way, hero. We got him, Lady Ingrid. Wasn't easy, but lower that crossbow before you hurt yourself. This man is innocent. Forgive me. I saw him running. For it was the killer fleeing. I was chasing him, and I'd have caught him if you hadn't gotten in my way. Out of my sight, at once! Good job, guard. Mother, why did he do this to her? Why? I don't know. Too early to draw any conclusions. Ingrid. I know this is a hard time for you, but usually the killer leaves a note on the body. A note indicating his next victim. May I? Very well. But you should be on your own. I do not wish to see her in this state. I do not wish to remember her like that. And let her be the last victim. Please. Bruises, broken fingernails. She defended herself. Must be why it took him longer, and why he almost got caught. Here it is. Sweet Nettie, crippled Kate's. Growing bolder, not just the name, but the place too. Won't get away this time. Tracks just end, as if he vanished. I am so, I am so sorry, hon. I am so sorry, Ingrid. All right, let's go f rescue Kate. 
or what, whatever the name is. The two names, I'm sure Kate is actually the last, is not the right name I'm thinking of. All right, so let's go down. Oh, I hate the internal fire. Hate it. Not a super religious person to begin with, and that's just worse. Up and over. Good job, guards. Didn't do any good. Any? Oh, I'm stuck. Didn't do anything to help, did ya? All right, so we're gonna head to the fast track and then go track out down the killer, folks. I'll see you soon. Okay, so is this the way in or is it the other door? Let's see. Oh, this is the way. Here we go. Sweet Nettie, where is she? Upstairs. But she's with a very important client. Do not disturb them. I am a more important client than whoever's up there with her. How many floors? No one will hear you, bitch. Not a soul. You, though? Whole town will hear you in a minute. Yet again, you disturb me. And I so dislike being disturbed. I was to play with sweet Nettie, render her not so sweet, but I shall see to you first. Try it, you bastard. All right, Nathaniel. You'll never learn. Yeah, Nathaniel's down. Let's loot him. Really? A poker? I'll take the water, too. Oh, hey. You know what? This is just payment for me that's helping everybody. Hey, sweetie. Let's turn that off and talk to sweet Nettie. You're free now. Oh, thank you. Thank you. If not you are him. welcome. I did everything, and I said, for the right price, of course. And then he smiled. Oh, God, it came with the shivers. And then he hit me. So hard I passed out. I was bound when I came to. And he was here in the poker, in the fire. <laughs> Calm down. He won't hurt you anymore. He won't hurt anyone. Oh... I am so sorry, sweetheart. I am so sorry. I feel bad about that. All right. Although, why are there broken rakes everywhere? What is it with the broken rakes? That's what I want to know. What is it? Let's go back, find Dandelion, tell him about Priscilla. I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, we are here. Let's go in. Oh, hello. Come on upstairs. Let's go upstairs. Talk to Dandelion. Hey, Dandelion, where are you at, buddy? There's a lot of puking. That? Oh, wrong door. How's better? Right? Y yes. Did you take care of what I asked? Yeah. The witcher's way. Thank you, Geralt. For me and Priscilla. Don't mention it. Nothing a friend wouldn't do. She's talking again. Nice surprise. Isn't it? Professor Von Gratz told me her wounds are healing faster than a troll's. Not the most flattering comparison, but encouraging. Maybe... She might even sing again someday. For now, we'll try performing as a duo. She'll play the lute, I'll sing. Dandelion and Kalanetta. Got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Sounds great. Good luck, Dandelion. On stage and off. I'm happy. That makes me really yes, happy. Girl. Know another surgeon from Oxenford Academy. Her name's Shani. Know her? 
Red hair cropped short, freckles. And a hopeless idealist. Naturally, I know her. She was my assistant for a year. Any idea where she is now? My gut tells me she's somewhere along the front, patching up pikemen. I told her it would be futile. In the time she saved a hundred lives, another thousand would be lost. But medics with a mission, you can't argue with them. Why is the university in Oxenford closed? Because it suits Radovid. You've not heard the story? The rector wished to grant him an honorary doctorate. The faculty disagreed. Nonetheless, Radovid arrived for the ceremony, donned a gown, collected his diploma, and when it was over, imprisoned the deans and the entire academic senate so they wouldn't raise a stink. I've been at Vilmerius Hospital ever since. But perhaps it's for the best. I'm far more adept scalpel in hand than I ever was behind a lectern. Hubert told me about your past, even more vivid than I'd assumed. I have not time for riddles, Geralt. Be straight or be gone. Any truth to his claim that people died during the riots at the university? Died for your cause? I was young and stupid. I thought a better future was worth any price. Even a human life or two. But those are past sins. Sins I've atoned for. Found and killed the murderer. It was Nathaniel. Caught him red-handed at Kate's. He was just about to cut into his next victim. Innkeeper wanted to keep me out. Important customer, he said. I thought nothing could surprise me in Novigrad. Seems I was wrong. Deeply wrong. Thank you, Geralt. Were it not for you, this would never have ceased. Farewell. All right, folks, that's it. That's the 101st Let's Play. We wrapped up Carnal Sins. I will see you next time, and until then, take care. You, Eustace, the corpse collector? I? How'd you know? Fourth sense, I think it is. You bring Fabian Meyer's body to the morgue? Fabian? Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> no ice, no art. One of them, right? No purse neither, as I recall.